Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Nipsey Hussle's two kids, Cross and Imani, have been named as the sole beneficiaries of his estate following his tragic death in March 2019. Cross, the seven-year-old son he shared with ex Lauren London, is said to inherit 50% of both cash and non-cash assets. Additionally, London will receive an extra $113,000 to off offset Payments she made for Cross's health, education, and other matters. For Imani Hussle's 14-year-old daughter with ex Tanisha Foster, the other 50% of assets will be managed by Nipsey Hussle's family, according to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com. Nipsey's brother Sam, his sister Samantha, and mother Angelique will oversee the teenagers. Five million dollars inheritance. This decision marks a significant turning point as Nipsey's family will now be responsible for investing the funds in a manner they deem most appropriate for Imani's well-being. Tanisha Foster, Imani's mother, will no longer have any influence over the management of these assets. The assets under consideration in the negotiation are subst substantial including a 2012 Chevy Suburban, 100% interest in all money in LLC valued at $2.4 million, 100% interest in the Marathon Touring Inc. worth $606,000 and 100% interest in Nipsey's Clothing Company, the Marathon Clothing Inc. worth $271,000. When combined, the collective value of these assets ex exceeds $11 million. Nipsey Hussle's life was tragically cut short when he was shot and killed on March 31, 2019, while standing outside his marathon clothing store in South Los Angeles. His alleged killer, Eric Holder Jr., was charged with his murder and subsequently found guilty in a trial last July. In February, Holder was sentenced to 60 years in prison for the fatal shooting, bringing some closer to a painful chapter in the late rapper's legacy. Thanks for listening and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.